it is way too early in the morning to be awake, but here I am at 7 in the morning in Walmart. I was going to do the Walmart grocery to store thing to kind of give that a try, but um, I wouldn't have been able to gotten it until like later on the next day. And after talking to people, kind of not worth it to wait because I would just spend more money. So I am here getting the things I need. Uh, hopefully getting enough food. Uh, we'll skip this part for these next two weeks. I think I'm good on that. Um, order online, free pickup at store. Ah, we know how that works. So I've had really a bad experience at Walmart, so I'm hopefully this one <coughs> does not let me down. What in the hell are those things? Oh, let, let me... Uh, ow, hello. So, looks like the wait, squeeze me, squeeze you where? Nah, that'd be something I don't know what like though. Okay, la, 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 la. I need a blanket. I need a blanket. Not an expensive blanket. I just need a blanket. Everyday low price. Well, what's the low price on these? I don't really need just a blanket. Ooh, this is soft. I get this one. I think twins big enough. It was soft. Yeah, <laughs> they soft. Might be a little warm, but <clears throat> My room gets cold at night, so Tom is really, really good about the AC. Um, he, for some reason, at night, it runs a bit more because he feels when you're sleeping, your body temperature drops, so you need the cold. Um, he's not stingy on it like Keyson is, and he's definitely not like Keyson or any of my other landlords. Doesn't care how... How you clean things, as long as you try. Doesn't care where you put stuff. You know, doesn't care what side of the sink. Yes, at Keyson's place, there was a side of the sink I couldn't clean on. Okay. It is okay. so much better. And I am so glad to be in this new place. It's quiet, it's peaceful, I can work in peace. Well, I don't know about someone talking to me every five minutes. Um... It's quite nice. Actually, quite nice. Although, I shot this place. Granted, I didn't have to worry about talking to every minutes, but the problem was with the noise. Um, work had said something, I think, two days before I moved. And I told them I was moving. They're like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, because you need to move or else. Pretty much. Did I go buy the books? No. Wait, I might have. Ah. I'm always going to buy stuff. I hate shopping at Walmart, but... Ooh, coloring books. Geo Adventure. This is a nice one. Nice coloring book. I want it. I get it. And they have their own colored pencils. Vibrant, superior quality. I'll get their coloring book with their pencils. So I wonder what else. Don't judge me. I like coloring. You guys can go and screw off if you're laughing. It's one of the ways I cope with things um, regarding depression that I found that helps is coloring. So. I wish I knew how much they were. I'd buy another set. But I don't know if it's the same colors in each set or. Yeah, it looks the same. So. If I always need more, I can always come back. Luckily, he's willing to take me to the store. Tranquil Wonders Color Art. Uh. Mandalas, which I, already ha I always have a hard time coloring. Yeah, these would be a hard one. Wait, 
maybe not. I like to color things that are not small. So I like to get the big designs. Like not uh you know, I don't know how to explain it. Not pimple. I got pimples for me pretty bad. I need to get more of that brand of stuff, but I can't afford it right now. Okay, no, okay, not no more coloring books. Look at that stuff. Okay, stop, 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 stop. God, you let me? I'll buy all of them. There are several things that are dangerous to me. Books and coloring books being one of them. But this particular book, I need. But I'm not seeing the one that they had online. And no, you're not going to see what I'm getting because I am not going to be laughed at. Uh, knife and new. How much is it? That's actually not bad for a pretty one. And it's. <sighs> I feel like I'm just going to have to show you, aren't I? Well, you ain't going to see it. But if you have to know, it's dealing with my religion. That's all I'm going to tell you. And make fun of me all you want. But I lost my decent Bible. So. Uh, does this have... I need it like that one book I had that I lost. But, I guess this one will do for ten bucks. Too bad, I suppose. I don't know if that... Oh, there's another coloring book! I am going to... No, stop! Stop! Damn it. Uh, I am having issues with that this morning. Moving on. Let me get out of this aisle before I see more. Now I need highlighters. Okay. And then we're going to move on to food, because I feel like if I don't get food, I'm going to spend half my budget on their highlighters down here. See, this is the problem with Walmart. I don't know where anything is. I haven't shopped at Walmart in a while. Um, I had a bad experience with Walmart. Oh yeah, I didn't tell many of you. So, my headset a few weeks ago broke. Luckily, my wonderful, wonderful husband lent me his, lent me some money to go get some, go get another headset, ordered it from Walmart, same day, everything, and what happened was I got there, I decided to leave there ahead of when it said it came, because I knew that by the time, good enough, I knew by the time I got there it should have Said, oh yeah, it's right here. You know, and come pick it up and all this. But that didn't happen. I got there after walking there. And it took about, I want to say four hours it took. Four or five hours. It took a while because I was on broken ankle, mind you. And what they said, oh, it's not ready until tomorrow, so come back. Oh, you best believe I'm unhappy. I saw it sitting right there on the counter. And I said such. I'm like, it's right there on the counter. You know, how is it not ready? Well, they didn't tell us it was going to be ready. I'm like, but it's right there on the counter. It's like, it's right there. I can see it. And if you know, I'm getting a uh, journal type to, like, write in. Like if I like some scriptures or whatever, or just write down thoughts and stuff like that. I should also get another one too, just in case. And so, you know, and I said, but it's sitting right there. I see it. I'm looking at it. She storms off, walks away, and then I shout to her, you know, well, I want to call um, Walmart.com support and talk to them. After spending about an hour and a half waiting for a supervisor, because I asked for a supervisor right off the bat, uh, the lady that answered couldn't understand why they said what they said. But this man answered, and I forgot his name, and if he's watching this, I appreciate for what you did for me. Because it's because of you I was able to get 
Actually, maybe just get a composition book because there's more paper in it and it's cheaper. Um, so, he, I told him what was going on. And he didn't sound too happy with it. He couldn't understand what happened. So, obviously, I didn't have the money again to go and buy it. And him knowing that, I'll get a purple one because it matches pink. I'm getting two just in case I need two. Um, anyhow, him realizing what was going on, and I didn't have the money, he was nice enough to give me a gift card for the value of the headset that I was able to buy that night. Now, you think it would have ended there. Oh, no, it got worse. So, as I was trying to um, pay for it, I had to wait for the manager. And she said she'd be back in a few minutes. She was going to go do something. Found out after 30 minutes later, she left. So, I then told the other lady what was going on and what we were planning on doing. Lo and behold, she yanks the headset out of my hand, drags it over to a register, and tells the lady to just let me pay for it and let me leave. Because I was going to steal it. I am not the person to steal. And I really was insulted after that. I did call the next day, but I never really heard anything about what happened after that. I figured the manager probably took her word over it over mine. Or their word over mine, I don't know. But it was extremely frustrating. And if you wanted to know why I am here shopping, the thing of it is, the food lion here and the hair cedar here are more expensive. And there's more stuff that I need here that I can get a food lion or hair cedar. And that's outside of food wise. So, that's why. Grab a fruit snack, why not? See, these are the first snacks I'd like. The last night I was at Sean's, um, I, some people noticed my Facebook status, so I want to explain. Sean had left these, uh, I guess these, uh, fruit snack things or whatever, and I guess someone had gone into them. I don't know who, because I was working. He turns to me and says that I had it when he got off work. And after I was off work, I said no. You know, they were like fruit by the foot and fruit roll. But I used to eat those as a kid. But I don't really have a desire to eat them at this moment. So, I told him it wasn't me. I guess he got mad at that. Or he didn't believe me. Or I, I really don't know his side of the story. I don't really know... It's justification for what happened that night because I had to, after thinking about it and after uh, some guidance on that, I blocked him and just about everyone that he knows on Facebook except for a few people. Well, people he interacted with on a daily basis on that. And he proceeded. I'm looking at my eggs. He had then proceeded at this point to after I told him I didn't do it or I didn't eat them I guess he didn't believe me and he then proceeded to pretty much break the table in the living room by flipping it up really really loud really really hard it scared me quite a bit uh, I couldn't really sleep that night after that that was the day before I was moving and it was hard because I didn't know what was going on because he just went to his room and slammed the door after that. So, you know what I just realized I forgot? A sharpener for the colored pencils. I had to go back and get it. Um, so, I didn't really go and ask him what happened that night because when I left that morning, he wasn't up. And I wasn't about to go wake him up. So... Yeah, that's what happened this morning. That's what happened that morning and last night. I didn't... I gotta go back and get a sharpener. I forgot. I didn't bother asking him in his defense why. Um, 
Because the incident at Carowinds, after that happened, I realized that Sean wasn't who I thought he was. Sean wasn't, you know. And it got me thinking about, you know, because they wanted me to do the World Ventures thing with them. And after I saw the incident at Carowinds and his defense on that, I saw how he acted with Alicia when she was here, when she, when he was around her, and I kind of realized, I also saw their lifestyle, and if any of those four see this, I know they're going to get mad, and I know they're going to say a few things about me, but all I have to say is this, I saw their lifestyle, I saw what they were wanting to do, and while I understand it's their passion, I don't know if I could do that. And there's a reason why. You know, there are a lot of people who do talk. Who talk about what they're going to do. About how they're going to make all this money and be rich one day. With me, and I hope, I hope they understand this. With me, talk won't get you anywhere. Good morning. I'm doing good about you. If you're going to make a big claim like that... You need to back it up. And from what I saw, there wasn't a lot of backing up. Sean is not an exception. Sean, I did see try. And I saw Justin also trying to get people in the business as well. Eh, itchy nose. But, at the same time, you know, if you want to be rich, you have to work hard. And for me, I saw them work so hard, and then they didn't really get much in return, did they? And I don't know if this is because of my spiritual beliefs, or if this is my personal gumption. I don't know what in me is saying this, but I feel like if the higher power... I'll just leave it at that, because I don't know what everyone believes in. Wants you to be rich, he will put opportunities in your life to do so. But there may also be temptations by evils. I'll put it as that way. And from what I saw, I don't know if that was a temptation for evil for me, or from him, or whatever. But I am not taking the chance. I like my job, I like where I am right now. I am going to England in December, which I just had to get something notarized for that anyways to get my passport. Don't ask. And I rather... Okay, let me word this another way because it's not coming out right. My thing is, I am happy with a thousand dollars. I am happy with a dollar. Money does not make me happy as much as people think it does or thinks it will. Money doesn't drive me to do what I do. I don't go to work every day and just think about the dollar bills. Although it is nice, it's not something that drives me to go to work. The ability to help people, to try to help people, to go to see what they are going through and help them out and then be grateful. That's what drives me every day. And some people don't get that. It's like, wait, you work tech support, but how do you help people? Well, at Apple, I help people get their phones back. Here, I'm helping them get their internet back and their email back, their lives. And not many people see it that way. I don't see it for the money. I see it for the opportunity to help people. And that may make people think I'm weird. But... Yeah, I am weird. Bite me. Now, I haven't seen a pencil sharpener. Wow. This is going to drive me nuts. Okay. You know, maybe if I put the camera down and go find a pencil sharpener. Maybe go find out one of these people. I don't see it near the pencils where you think it would be. There's the erasers. But no sharpeners. Okay, they have to have pencil sharpeners here. 
You know what? I am going to go ask. Yeah, I want to go find someone to ask. Uh, to be continued while I go look for a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This a pencil sharpener? This a pencil sharpener? I found it! Colored pencil compatible. Is it... Where are these? I don't know where I put the colored pencil, guys. Oh, right here. I'm just gonna pull up here. Yeah, they look normal length. Yeah, so that works. And it says it's adjustable pencil tip. Well, is there a bigger one? No. Ah, they're probably normal size. I'm good. If not, I know how to do it with a knife. Oh yeah, she handled a knife. That's amazing. So, anyhow, that is my rant on that, and it's no disrespect to them, because I did appreciate them for helping me when I was in direct need because of Keystone. But at the same time, some of the, the two incidents I mentioned that happened after that made me see something in a whole different light, and it's nothing personal to them, but. I know I did not explain the full Carolyn story to you guys, um, so what had happened was we came there as a group, and two of my friends, one of them in particular who I knew, who couldn't be around them because of their color, I decided not to cause any city drama and just go off with them. Well, they ended up getting ejected from the park anyways, but I wanted to be time by myself because I know some of the rides I like to go on they don't and vice versa but apparently to Sean that shouldn't have mattered therefore I was supposed to watch him have fun and just sit there um Sean got extremely agitated that we kept trying to go off on our own and not stick as one group but the thing of it is that wasn't really made clear that that's what was going to happen you know that wasn't really made clear we were all supposed to stick together because it seemed like if they wanted to go and do stuff, it was fine. But heaven forbid someone else tried to. One girl in the group um, did try to make me feel better about it. Um, I think her name was Danielle. She was real nice. Um, she tried to make me feel like it was fine. And I appreciate her for that. You know, because I feel... Thanks to her, I was able to get do what I wanted to do and go on Ricochet Ranch Roof, which I have a picture from that. I haven't uploaded it yet. Um, I do have a picture of that, though. Somewhere. <laughs> I had to find it. And... So... I can't reach those. Damn it. So... Wait, that's caffeine free. We don't want caffeine free. We want all the caffeine. We want all the caffeines. I'm getting enough soda to make sure I that. Clean up our 12. Hey, I have to make sure I have enough soda, guys. So, anyhow, the night came ahead when we got back with Sean and them. Him and Elisa, Alicia, um, I guess something happened. And she was, I don't know, really grumpy or something. I don't 100% know what the deal was. But all of a sudden, Sean starts yelling and screaming at her in the middle of the park. Um, that was quite an experience. Because I didn't know what was going on when that shouting happened. I don't know what context it was. I don't know what's going on. At that point... They go off by themselves when we try to get on another ride. Well, around this time, all of a sudden, like I kept t trying to tell everyone earlier, but no one was really listening, a thunderstorm was popping in the area. And I had told people a thunderstorm was coming. But, you know, who really listens to me? 
that's why I fell anyway. And lo and behold, the patrol came in the area. I had to leave. I had to call Sean, asked him where he was. They said he'd be me at the north gate. It started pouring by the time I got there. However, while trying to get there, I was knocked down by somebody. And I, that's how I injured my ankle the first time. I got hurt pretty badly. My ankle was really sore. I couldn't really walk on it. I needed Sean's help to get back to the car. Because I couldn't put any weight on it and it was hurting pretty badly. Um, I never had it hurt that bad before. I was quite scared. And also a panic attack was setting in because of all the screaming and the... It's hard to explain. But panic attack did come on. And I was able to wait under the thing. And then Sean's like, well, we're already at the car. So I was quite annoyed that they weren't going to try to help me. And their response to this later is what then again set me off. That's a big box of cereal. I think I only need one. Good God. That's going to last me two weeks. Um, so... A security guard there was nice enough to realize what was going on and let me use his um, umbrella, which I tried to give back to one of the other security guards, but couldn't find them anywhere. I don't know where they went. Um, and I made it to the car after taking it real carefully because my ankle was hurting pretty bad and their response when I got to the car was I didn't have common sense because no one's going to wait there for you and I don't know why you expected us to my defense to that is if the shoe was on the other foot if they were the ones that needed help like that, I would have gone back and made sure they got to the car okay. Because it was dark, it was raining, and I couldn't really find my way back. And it took me a while to find my way back. After I told my husband what happened, he wasn't too happy, needless to say. So... It was after that I started realizing that Sean might not be the person he was. Or, you know. You know what I mean. And it quite deterred me. Because I wanted to be Sean's friend. But I guess things happen that way for a reason. I don't know. But that wasn't the reason why I blocked him, because we ended up working out toward the end anyways. Even though we never really talked about what happened after that night. And I didn't get to say how I truly felt about what he said. And try to explain to him, try to make him understand why, hap why what happened and how it did. And I don't know if you'll ever see this or understand, but... I don't know. It was mainly after the incident at the house where he pretty much uh, flipped the table and scared me. That made me decide to block him and the others. I feel bad for blocking Justin and Mario because they weren't really involved. And I think I still have Danielle on my Facebook. So they may see this because of her. Um, but I just felt like after that, you know, I just did not want to be involved in that again. And... I wasn't about to have it. I just hope if Sean does see this and Alicia sees it, you know, that they understand I had to do what I had to do. And it was after the night before I left was the main reason. If Sean wants to, Sean has my number, so I think. Um. Unless he deleted it after seeing I deleted it on Facebook. You know, if he wants to talk about it, he knows where to come find me. He knows how to get a hold of me. Uh, although my number may change, not because of him, but because of something else going on that I'm not going to admit. Ow! I got shot grabbing croutons. 
Oh yeah, by the way, Zandies are not nuts. They're called croutons. You put them on a salad, but I'm like snacking on them. Nom, 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 nom. I'm weird. Shut up. Don't touch me. Where is the soy sauce? Is that the international aisle? I can't find soy sauce, guys. It's probably... There's no international aisle, though. Ah! Man. I can't find soy sauce. God damn it. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing vlogs every day. Or every other day. Or once a week. But I will try to do them. Especially when my journey to Las Vegas, Nevada comes closer. Yes, that is still happening. Um, that is still coming to a fruition. Oh, soy sauce. Here it is. Should be... Ah, soy sauce. Yes. Yep, that is still coming to fruition. I just have to save up. I am booking the hotel today. And people at Walmart looking at me funny. I am booking the hotel today. The flight I'm hoping to book at the end of the month. Um, Assuming everything goes to plan, which it should. Hey, I'm gonna wrap this up, guys, because I'm gonna finish shopping. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for me ranting. Um, hopefully, you guys like these type of vlogs. If not, I'll, if so, I'll try to do them more. If not, well, sorry for wasting about 30 minutes of your time there. Um, I got some videos planned. In fact, there's a game on sale that I'm gonna get. That some of my coworkers want to play, so I, I'll probably film our antics there. I also plan. Oh man! I have to go back to the freaking. Ah! God damn it! Every freaking. Mm. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.